A13 for EFT for weight loss. Um, go, today we're going to talk about binge eating and we're going to tap on some of the issues that may be causing us to binge eat. Uh, so if you've written down your ideas of what makes you binge eat, some of the situations and scenarios that you find are your emotional triggers for your binge eating, then that's what you will use in place of the statements that I use, okay? So I hope you're having a great couple weeks. I'm seeing wonderful successes in my life. I'm seeing myself losing weight. I am seeing myself motivated to exercise. And I am seeing myself eating snacks less, not craving those carbs. That was an issue for me. And eating slower and eating less at mealtime. Uh, and also a really big success is when I see food on TV or in magazines, I am not dying to have it anymore, or craving, or having to go eat. It doesn't make me as hungry as it used to. Uh, so huge successes, and it's just going to reflect more and more on my weight loss uh, in the upcoming weeks. And I'm also seeing where I am eliminating core issues for other areas in my life not just for weight loss. So some of these table legs, as we talked about, that were holding up these, uh, weight, that were keeping the weight issues afloat, uh, and the, uh, the cravings and the problems I have with my weight and dieting. Well, some of those core issues, those table legs, are also shared with other areas of my life, like abundance issues. Uh, so by clearing them, I'm actually clearing other things. And uh, more of uh, magical living now can be a success and a reality in my life, as it can for you too. The better we feel, the better uh, things occur in our life. That's it. We inactivate the law of attraction to our benefit. So we're actually attracting good, positive experiences, things we actually want in our life. So we are now becoming deliberate creators just by raising our vibration and our energy and we're feeling better. So let's get tapping. Today, like I said, is I'm binge eating and I don't binge eat a lot, but when I do, I'm not happy with myself. So let's start. Okay, even though I binge eat, I don't, I completely and deeply accept myself. Even though sometimes when I binge eat and I don't like it, I still deeply and completely accept myself. Sometimes I tend to binge eat and even though it makes me very unhappy when I do this, I deeply and completely accept myself. I really get, don't like it when I binge eat. I have a tendency to binge eat sometimes. This binge eating is not helpful for me and it makes me feel uh, out of control. I binge eat when I feel overwhelmed. When I am so consumed with stresses and I feel overwhelmed, I binge eat. This binge eating the binge eating. When I'm totally overwhelmed and stressed, I binge eat. Okay, so during the tapping phase, an idea came to me uh, why I binge eat. And a lot of that trigger sends, uh, tends to be se severe stress, a lot of overwhelmment, like kind of when you get hit with a whole bunch of stresses all at one time, just feeling that total overwhelming feeling, being not in control of anything, at least feeling that way, and feeling pretty helpless. So I binge eat to comfort myself, to soothe myself, and to not face those stresses, those problems that hit me when they come all at once like that, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do another round, and then we're going to use some affirmations afterwards to turn it around. So here we go. Even though I binge eat when I am stressed and overwhelmed, I still deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I stress eat when I when even though I binge eat when I'm stressed and overwhelmed, I still deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I binge eat when I am stressed and overwhelmed and overloaded, I still deeply and completely accept myself. 
this binge eating. I don't like binge eating. I don't like feeling so out of control, so stressed and overwhelmed. So then I binge eat. This binge eating. Binge eating comforts me when I am overwhelmed. I really hate to be overwhelmed. I feel so out of control, so I binge eat to soothe myself. This binge eating when I'm overwhelmed and out of control. Okay, we're going to go do the turnaround phases on that. I can release the need to binge eat. Binge eating doesn't serve me anymore. I can take a deep breath and meditate. I don't have to tackle every problem head on. I simply need to release and turn over my problems to the universe. I need to breathe deeply when I feel I need to binge eat. When I'm overwhelmed, I need to count to 10, take a deep breath, and turn over my problems to the universe instead of binge eating. Binge eating doesn't make me feel good. It just makes me feel worse afterwards. I can release this need to binge eat. Binge eating doesn't serve me anymore. There's so many more things I can do to release the stress. Meditation, walking. I choose to make better choices when I'm under severe stress. I am going to release this need to binge eat now. It doesn't serve me. It doesn't feel good and I'm ready to release it now. It does not have control over me anymore. Okay, so when I think about where I'm at on my level, I was around a five because I'm not stressed right now, um, but it's at a zero. So that's some of the reasons why I binge eat. If you think about the act of binge eating itself, it's filling yourself to capacity, um, eating fast, um, eating so much to complete yourself. So another issue that it could be is I feel unfulfilled. So that could be a very well reason for many people that binge eat. So why don't we tap on that? Okay, even though I feel so unfulfilled uh, and therefore I binge eat, I still deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel so unfulfilled at times and I binge eat, I still deeply and completely accept myself even though at times I feel very unfulfilled. And so I binge eat. I deeply and completely accept myself. This feeling of being unfulfilled. So I binge eat. I binge eat because I am not fulfilled in my life. This unfulfillment. This unfulfillment. I feel there's no fulfillment in my life sometimes. I feel almost incomplete. I feel like I need more purpose in my life. I'm going to go another round. This lack of purpose makes me feel unfulfilled, which then makes me binge eat. I can release this need to binge eat. I can look deep into my heart and soul and see what fulfills me. I can reactivate my passions again. I can do more things that I am passionate about. It's easy to find more purpose in your life. You just have to open up to the possibilities I do. It'll be fun to explore the possibilities of finding more passion and purpose in my life and being more fulfilled. And I can release this need to binge eat. Okay, so you can kind of see where we were going with that, um, the thought on binge eating and the various reasons why we binge eat. Now, of course, it's going to be unique 
to every person. There might be different reasons that uh, you would binge eat. So a good thing to do, rule of thumb, is to keep track the next time you binge eat, especially if right now you have no clue what makes you binge eat. Um, go ahead and write in your journal down some of the things that have occurred right prior to your binge eating. The emotions you were feeling, the circumstances that were going on in your life, and uh, especially the emotional factor. And, and then you might see a pattern that, oh, so this is, this is what happens. And then you can look at, well, when did that first happen in your life? Perhaps uh, you binge eat when when there's when your family's late to an event or something and then you start getting stressed and you know you have to be somewhere at a certain time and everybody in your household's late perhaps then you can look at at, at a time from your past where there was a consequence for the your lateness uh or something like that where it first started to show its head. So a lot of times it just takes trial and going through the, the tapping points because then we start getting ideas and visions and some memories that may have occurred that are at the, the heart of our issue. Uh, so that is binge eating today. Start thinking about what areas in your life, uh, what kind of stresses happen when you that tend to trigger you to binge eat and go ahead and tap on them and I hope to see you again soon. Tomorrow we'll go ahead and tap on how to increase our awareness of our our fullness, our satiated state in our body when we eat, how to increase that awareness. We want to be more aware of our food, we want to be more present, we want to be more aware of our bodies and our stomach and our full levels, okay? So that's a big one, especially if you tend to eat without having that awareness and you just keep eating when everything's on your plate. I know we talked about uh, the whole eating everything on our plate, but we also want to take smaller portions. So if we have that level of awareness going in and we're always conscious of what we're eating and how much we're eating and when we're eating that that uh, nips all the lot of the problems in the bud right there because now we're able to handle it before it becomes a problem so let's t see you tomorrow we'll tap on awareness thank you magical journeys have a wonderful wonderful day